Good evening, teacher. I can hear you, teacher. Are you ready? Hello. Hello. <laughs> thank um, you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, with my mic off. Uh huh. How are you tonight, Maria Elena? <sighs> Happy because uh, my father is is his birthday. Oh, okay. Today, and are are you celebrating? <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. Okay. Good. So, are you having dinner tonight? Um. No, we have a uh, lunch. Ah, you had lunch tonight today. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very no, good. Um. Only the cave in. Okay. Tonight. Okay. Good. Good. He he he's eighty seven years. Oh God, yeah, that's that's really something to celebrate. Yes. It yeah. Is. Yes, it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm so happy for you to for you too, and say happy birthday Thank to you. your daddy. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Carlos Eduardo. How are you tonight? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Really, really fine. How are mm -hmm. you? I'm fine. Okay, great, great. Are you ready for the class? Yes. Okay, nice. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome, Alejandra. Hello, good evening. Hello, Wendy. Hello, teacher. Good Hello. evening. Good evening, Alejandra. How are you? I'm fine. Great, great. Hello, uh, Carla Veronica, Wendy Xiomara, hello. Hello, teacher, good evening. Uh, hello, teacher, how are you? I'm fine, thank you for asking. I'm really fine, thank God, yes. Yes. <laughs> Is everybody ready for the class? Can you imagine this is almost, almost the end. Oh my God. Yeah, we are finishing on, on Monday. Okay, we are finishing on Monday. So the, uh, the end of the course will be the 21st. Okay. Uh, how are you doing with your homework? How are you doing with your homework? Is it okay or do you have problems there? Do you need any explanation? Do you have questions? Everything is okay. Nice. That's nice to hear. Yeah. Hello, Juan Carlos. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. I'm happy that you are in class. Uh, I didn't tell you, but the last class I was worried about you because you told me that you were uh, not fine, right? How, how are you feeling today? ¿Cómo, te siente, ¿Cómo se siente ya? Mucho mejor, teacher. Okay, good. good. Yeah. What about Raquel? Hello, good evening, Raquel. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing tonight? Fine. Nice. Teacher. Very good. Yes, tell me. Good evening. Good Una evening. Pregunta. Tell me, tell me. Hoy se va a llenar lo de la encuesta. Eh, va a ser el día de mañana, eh, perdón, del lunes. El lunes, lunes. es el último no, día. Sí, el, el lunes es el último día. No hay que faltar ese día, por favor, y estemos temprano porque uh, nos toca entregar a las 8 y 20, comenzamos la encuesta y estaríamos terminando. Nos dan 30 minutos, ¿verdad? Para esa actividad. Pero como queremos hacerlo lo mejor posible, así que estemos temprano, ¿verdad? Para cualquier cosa y podamos eh, hacer las cosas bien, ¿verdad? A las 8 y 20 estaríamos dando inicio a la actividad. 
Por lo tanto, solo tenemos clase por decir así los primeros ¿qué? 20 minutos y después lo que nos quede del final de la clase, ¿verdad? Ok. Um, teacher, yo también tengo otra pregunta. Um, Tell me. Um, ahorita vamos con, con la actividad 18, ¿verdad? Tendríamos yes. que hacer la 19, la 20 y el examen final hoy en este fin de semana. Y el examen final, sí, bueno, el, el tema, los temas ya están cubiertos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, prácticamente lo, lo que estamos haciendo, uh, el tema que vamos a cubrir hoy sería finalizando el, el manual, ¿verdad? Que es Can for uh -huh. Informal uh, Polite Request. Entonces, uh -huh. si ustedes consideran, se consideran capaces de terminarlo sin lo que falte, que sería la última uh -huh. clase. Yo sí les agradecería que lo, que lo hicieran, ¿verdad? Para ir completando mis reportes. ¿Lo podemos completar entonces? Sí, claro que sí. Okay. Claro que sí. Pueden probar las veces que sea necesario, a modo que puedan ir desarrollando y que se les vaya quedando más. Acuérdense que no les da veces de, o sea, fin de veces, ¿verdad? Sino que pueden hacerlo una y otra vez y siempre les va a tomar la, la última... Eh, calificación, ¿verdad? Así que ah, okay. háganle, háganle ahí, ¿verdad? Practiquen, practiquen. Para eso es la tarea, ¿verdad? Ahora, el examen, el examen son cuatro partes. Y ahorita ya pueden desarrollar las primeras tres partes, ¿verdad? Perfectamente. Entonces, la cuarta parte quizás estaríamos como fijando hoy el conocimiento, ¿verdad? Para que ya lo puedan desarrollar. Pero ya lo pueden empezar a hacer, claro que sí. Ok, thank you. Lo que no deben hacer es la encuesta. La encuesta la, la encuesta. vamos a hacer aquí, por favor. Por favor. El lunes. Okay. El lunes, porque solo hay una, una sola oportunidad. Ok, no, hoy no va a haber oportunidad que nos van a llamar para, mire, aquí se equivocó y puso esto. Y... Entonces nos tenemos que fijar bien, bien. Por eso lo vamos okay. a hacer aquí, ok. Bien, chicos. Okay, we're going to start the class tonight. I see everybody's here. Hello. Welcome, Kevin. Hello, Karina. Um, let's see who else. Uh, Edwin. Hello. Giovanni. Hello. So I see hello, hello, we're almost, uh, uh, well, pretty old, right? Pretty old. Okay. Now let's start. Let's start. First thing that we have to do is to take the attendance, yay. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> okay, please turn on your cameras and you get to say present when I say your name. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present, present. Okay. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present teacher. Soy okay. Annie. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm going to check you in. Okay, there you okay, are. Okay, gracias. Uh, let's see. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. And there you are. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present, teacher. Nancy Ivette Tova Rivera. Nancy? No, Nancy. Okay, Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present. 
Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present, teacher. Okay. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Okay. Okay, we were talking about tech support problems and how to report those problems to IT department. And also, what else were we talking about? ¿De qué más estábamos hablando? ¿Cuál era nuestro tema, el último que vimos? Uh -huh. How to request politely, right? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Um, or how to use call for formal requests? Okay, very good for formal requests. Formal and polite, and, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are studying how to use would you like to and would for polite requests. And it's very formal language. Now let's thinking, I mean, let's think about how to communicate polite requests when we wanted to ask for example, to my colleague or to a closer person, a una persona más cercana o con quien yo tengo más relación, con más confianza, to a closer person. It could be a colleague, it could be a friend, it could be maybe, um, uh, or, or for example, someone that we don't know, but it's not important if we say, uh, Form, if we use formal language, it depends on the situation where we are. Usualmente, usualmente, usually, we use this language over the phone, okay? We use this language over the phone or when we send an email, usually, because we are requesting and offering constantly in a conversation uh, in our workplaces. Siempre el contexto normalmente lo encontramos en nuestro lugar de trabajo, ¿verdad? Donde necesitamos desarrollar un lenguaje formal y a la vez muy respetuoso, ¿verdad? Ahí es donde utilizamos could and would. Pero para otras situaciones, incluso en el teléfono, pero en otras situaciones, Podemos utilizar can para ayudarnos a hablar de una manera polite, pero no tan formal. Okay? Do we get that? Do we get it? Questions? Do you have questions from the last class? No? Okay, we are going to start with the objective for today's class. And here we are. We are in unit four, okay? The topic for today is can for, how to use can for informal requests, okay? And the context here is to request politely, okay? In a very polite way. So let's read the objective for today's class. 
participants will be able to use can for informal requests. Participants will be able to use can for informal requests. Can you read the objective, please, Raquel? Participants will be able to use can for informal requests. Thank you very much. Okay, now that's the topic for today. Can. Ustedes han oído ese verbo? Han escuchado el uso? Han oído cuando usan ese verbo? Yes. Okay, y en qué, y qué les han dicho que significa? <laughs> Poder. Ajá, okay, okay. Poder. So, this verb have has different uses has different uses it means that itself means poder o sea así por sí mismo eso es lo que significa poder pero ese poder puede así como decimos nosotros en español verdad eh, uh, puede es una habilidad okay it's ability En este caso, en este nivel y en este uso que vamos a ver, no lo vamos a utilizar como una ability, como decir yo sé hacer alguna cosa o tengo la habilidad para hacer una cosa. No, en este caso lo vamos a utilizar as a modal verb, como un verbo modal, para ayudarnos a solicitar cosas. ¿Y cómo lo usamos en general? En general para requests es precisamente eso, en la forma de pregunta, okay? And the form of a question. So, in our manuals, we have the structure. In our manuals, we have the structure. But I need you to see. Something first, okay. Vamos a hacer una pequeña actividad antes de lectura. Ok, vamos a hacer una pequeña actividad de lectura, déjenme, voy a salir de acá. Vamos a hacer una pequeña actividad de lectura como para ponernos en contexto nuevamente de los devices que nosotros utilizamos. Ok, what devices do we use in our offices? What devices do we use in our offices? What do you use? Do you use a computer? Computer, cell uh -huh. phone, uh -huh. eh, calculator. Okay. Uh -huh. mm. Mouse. Mouse. Uh -huh. eh, CPU. You? CPU. CPU. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only. <laughs> okay. Very good. Do you use a printer? Do you use a printer? Yes. Printer. Okay. Yes. Do you do you use a photocopier? Do you use a photocopier? Yes. Okay. Do you do you use a fax? Fax machine? Not anymore, right? Maybe in the past, yeah, maybe we, we used uh fax machines, right? But at this moment, I think it's easier to send something in a picture, right, from e uh, through email. Or maybe you can just send a document, uh, a PDF, right, a PDF through the email, or maybe from one device to the other device through Bluetooth, right? It's easier than using a fax machine, even though when we are in a different country, Okay, and you have to send some documents, formal documents, then they still use fax, fax machines, right? And they are usually these big things now integrated. Se han fijado que ahora, bueno, no ahora, pero empezó la modalidad de que integraban la, la impresora con la fotocopiadora y con el fax, todo junto. Era un, una sola, una sola máquina, okay? Uh, it, it was useful. Esa máquina era muy útil, okay? But it presented a lot of problems. It had a lot of problems. You were usually having uh, no good printings, 
maybe or low quality, okay, low quality printings, etc. So, vamos a leer. We are going to read something about printers, okay? Vamos a leer, hacer la lectura acerca de las impresoras o acerca de los impresores. So let's go to our manuals. And in our manuals, we have this reading in page 44. In page 44. Let's go over there and let's read. Okay. Para ponernos un poquito en contexto de las, los devices y appliances y equipos, equipments that we use in our offices. Okay. So we are going to learn in this reading about printer qualities. Printer qualities. Las cualidades de los impresores. Okay, when you go to buy a printer, what do you have to take in consideration? This is what we are talking about in this reading. Just let me play the audio and you read along, okay? Oh, I cannot move it from here. Oh, me lo tapa. Okay, déjenme mover el audio para el otro lado. Here we are, I think here we are. Okay, again, and there we go. Okay, here we are. Let's listen to the audio and read, okay? Color. Color is the most important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution Printer resolution, the sharpness of texts and images on paper, is usually measured in dots per inch DPI. Most expensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 dpi. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about 3 to 6 sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory, for example, one megabyte, that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as large as image. Call. Color is the most important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink, that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. 
Resolution Printer resolution, the sharpness of texts and images on paper, is usually measured in dots per inch (DPI). Most expensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. Speed If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about 3 to 6 sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory Most printers come with a small amount of memory, for example 1 megabyte, that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when putting out pages with large images or table with lines around them, which the printer treats as large as image. Okay. Do you have any question about the vocabulary? No question. Teacher, teacher, uh -huh. and donde dice the printer in memory, uh -huh. printer three, eh, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Most printers, memory, eh, most printers. Hasta el final, hasta el final, donde dice printer, dice, ah, ah, eh, esa, ¿sí? Treats. Treats, okay. Treats. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, then, guys. Uh, Any other question? No, teacher. Okay. So, teacher, any uh -huh. question? Tell me. And color. Uh huh. En, bueno, en la tercera, en la tercera fila. Dice Patrick Guest. ¿Qué significa eso? Eh, no, no. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentation. And the third one, black and white color printers are more expensive. Ink. Mm -hmm. This? Yes. Ink cartridges. Ink cartridges. Uh, son los cartuchos de tinta. Car okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Are we okay? Okay, what users do you think are those who are looking for a printer that provides them a very good printing, a very good color printing, color printing? What users do you think are looking for uh, good color printing? ¿Qué usuarios creen ustedes que van a andar buscando así? Esta que, pero que imprima bien el color. O print color. Who prints colors? Promotional, promotional. Excuse me? Too much money? Promocionales. Oh, promotionals. Oh, promotional. yes. Good, good. Uh -huh. People who are in publishing, right? Or maybe in um, advertising. Uh -huh. Because they need to have something for uh, a specific, specific thing, right? A specific thing. So let's go and see. Uh, because they say also those people who print maps or print... Um, this um, like the architects that they uh, print these kind of drawings, okay, where the color 
has a meaning, okay, donde el color tiene un significado, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, los que hacen mapas, los que hacen, dice, otras, otro tipo de información This. en donde el color, where the color is the information, right? Hello, Edwin. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. Why is color important for some users? Why is color important for some users? Why is color important for some users? Opinions? Presentation eh, o mm, los maps nítidos. No. Ok, excelente. Color legs. Sharp. Ajá. Uh -huh. Let's read again where the color is described. Here, the, that quality is described. It says here, color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Where color is part of the information. Vamos a leer entonces allá abajo la pregunta nuevamente. Let's read the question. Why is color important for some users? Uh -huh. Is to... color information exactly. important? Yes, because, recuérdense que para contestar why, Utilizamos because, ok, because the color is part of the information, because the color is part of the information in their presentations, in their maps or wherever printing they are doing, ok. Now let's read number two. Do you want to read number two, please, Edwin? What does DPI stand for? Okay. What does DPI stand for? Let's go to the reading. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of DPI? Dots per inch. Okay. Dots per inch. Dots per inch. Okay. Number three. Astrid, please, can you read number three? We cannot hear you, Astrid. It's not possible for us to, to hear. Maybe you unplug that thing. Creo que tiene que desconectarlo porque no le agarra.
Astrid, desconecte los audífonos. No, no es posible. Okay, thank you, Astrid, but, but we cannot hear you. Probablemente el en donde está conectado. Eh, su audífono, pero usted puede oírnos. Uh, okay. Creo que no tenía activado el audio. She doesn't have activated. Okay. Vamos a esperar que ella entre now. Wendy, can you read please number three? Why are color printers more expressive? Expensive. Expensive. Okay. Answers. Why? Omar, what because. is the answer? Oh, thank you, Giovanni. Go ahead. Giovanni? Um, because? Because um, printer are more faster. Be, because they are faster? Oh, yes, but let's remember what does it say in the reading. In the reading, it says that color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges. Okay. Por eso se vuelve un poquito más cara. Okay. Or more expensive because they use two ink cartridges. Okay, number four. Let's see number four. Uh, Omar, please, can you read number four? Okay. Uh, what is something uh, important uh, for someone uh, who prints a lot? Okay, what is something important for someone who prints a lot? Thank you very much, Omar. Okay, you're welcome. So what is the answer? Something important. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Si ustedes quieren imprimir bastante y what do, what do you think you need? The speed. Yes, right? You need that the printer have, has some, sorry, the printer has more speed, okay? So to be faster, right? To be faster. And what do you think? Another thing could be also that in color, Okay, when you print a color, it's lower, right? And it's more expensive if you print uh, color. So what about speed and also cheaper? So it means maybe black and white, right? What do you think? Imagínense para las escuelas que imprimen el montón de exámenes. What do you think it is important? Use black and white. Use black and white, uh-huh. 
y en la forma de borrador, ¿verdad? <risa> Ajá. Así toca, ¿verdad? To save some ink, para ahorrar un poco, right? To save. So let's read number five. Let's read number five. What is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Okay, let's read that question, please, Juan Carlos. Could you please read the question number five? What is the amount of memory that most printer come me on con with? Okay. So what is the amount of memory, guys? Let's go One to One megabyte. Aha, uh -huh. good, good. You are very, very fast. Okay, excellent. Yes, one megabyte, one megabyte. Okay, do you have any question about the reading? Astrid, ya nos escucha? Sí, sí, hoy sí. There you are, thank God. Cambié okay. teléfono. Oh, okay. Yeah, something was not right in the in the connection, right? Okay, but now you are okay. Thank God. Qué bueno. Okay, people. What do you think about this reading? Por ahí les mandé el audio y por ahí les mandé la lectura para que ustedes la sigan practicando. Okay, eso les ayuda a escuchar las um, pronunciaciones. Ese, ese acento que escuchan en la grabación es más a lo británico, ¿verdad? Más a lo británico. Pero eso nos ayuda a escuchar diferentes acentos, ¿ok? Para no quedarnos, ay, es que saber qué dirá, pero está hablando inglés, right? In a different accent. And it will be uh, very useful for us to understand English in any accent, okay? In any accent. Now, let me stop sharing this. Mm -hmm. And let's go back to the structure. Just let me go and get it. It is in page 47, I think. Page 47. Okay, in page 47, we have a conversation. Esa conversación la hicimos ayer, uh, antier, <laughs> anteayer. <laughs> okay, so uh, we are going to practice it again, again today. And I want you to notice the way to request for information, okay? To request for information. So let's go and share this. Let's practice this. Here we are. This conversation between Ma Max and Joe. Okay. ¿Te recuerdan de la conversación? Yes. Okay. Yes. We are yes, going teacher. to read it. We are going to read it and then we are going to practice something very important, okay? Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How, how can I help you? Hi, Max, my name is Joe. I work for pips.com. We received a new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Uh, um, it's an ulti-page max 30. Okay, first make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, Click on complete install. Okay. We want to hear Omar and Ana del Carmen. Mm 
Max or Joe? You want to start? Okay, you may start, Annie. Annie. Max. Hello, this is Max from the, the tech support. How can I help you? Omar, we cannot hear you. Okay, sorry, sorry. No <laughs> sorry. problem, go ahead. Okay. Hi, Max. My name is Joy. I work for Petcom. Uh, we say, receive uh, the new printer and I need help sitting, sitting it up. Uh, could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Oh, you tell me the model. Let me check. Um, can you hold? Can you hold on a second, please? Uh, oh, it's multi page. Uh, max thirty. Okay. First, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, this. Uh, could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the right and third, once the menu appears on this screen, click on complete install. Okay, thank you very much. So let's repeat peeps.com, peeps.com. Peeps, peeps.com. Uh-huh. Pips.com. Cuando veamos punto .com, we say dot .com, okay? That. Mm -hmm. Pips.com. For example, it could be uh, Travers.com. It could be Garments.com. Giovannis.com, the, the, the companies, right? Anis.com. Every time that you see punto .com, then you say dot .com, okay? Now let's see, setting it up, setting it up, setting it up, setting it up. Setting, setting it up. Uh huh. Setting, setting it up. Setting, setting, setting it up. Uh, let's see, the other was plugged. Plug. Plugged in. Plugged. Plugged in. Plug in. Plug in. Plug in. Plug in. Plug in. Yes. No decimos plugged. No, no decimos plugged. Decimos plugged. Plug. Este es el pasado del, del verbo plug. Ok. Plug. Eh, el verbo en presente sería plug. El verbo en pasado es plugged, ok, para decir conectado, conectado, en este caso estamos utilizando un participio, pero lo que quiero que sepan aquí es que esta ed que va aquí, ok, corresponde al verbo plug, ok, plugged in, plugged in, van juntas las dos palabras, in, ahora, ¿qué, es, qué pasaría si le decimos de Power cord is plugged out, plugged out. Desconectado, right? Plugged out, plugged out, plugged in, plugged out. Okay. Now the other was, uh -huh. well, no other problem, I think, of pronunciation. Okay, this was just a practice to remember the questions using could you, could you, okay? Can you, could you? So now let's go down here and let's see the structure of these questions. Let's see the, the structures of these questions. Do you see? Okay, what is the structure? Could? Cool. Plus subject, Good subject, plus verb, plus verb, base form, plus complement, plus, plus the plus, question mark, plus question, question mark. Okay, then let's see the examples. Could you write these reports, please? Could you write these reports, please? Repeat after me. 
Could you write these reports, please? Could you write these reports, please? Could you deliver this letter, please? Could you deliver these letters today, please? Could you deliver these letters today, please? Okay. Esta que vemos acá es para formal requests. Formal requests. Me preguntaba Ana Cristina ayer, ¿puedo utilizar can? ¿Cuándo voy a saber can or, or could? Entonces, let's remember. Mi explicación es que can is less polite. Could is more polite. Okay. Por eso decimos can is for informal requests and could is for formal requests. Pero la diferencia aquí es could is for formal language and can is for informal, informal language. Okay? Eh, podríamos decirlo así, can es más directo. Okay? Can es más directo y could es más uh, suave. Okay? Más suavecito decir la, lo que estamos pidiendo. Okay? Now, Pero es más pesado. Ajá, uh -huh, sí, aunque no, um, no es. Más fuerte. Exacto. Pero no es tan pecho, pecho. Es el imperativo de una sola vez, ¿verdad? O la orden de una sola vez. Right? Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. In May. May. May is very formal. More than could. O sea, es, could es aquí. May is more formal. Ok. Es mucho más respetuoso. Mucho más formal. Ok. Y se mm. usa para permissions y para requests. Pero los requests con may son, han quedado un poquito en desuso ahora porque se usa más que todo para per pedir permisos o para solicitar autorización de algo, ¿verdad? Pero lo vamos a ver más adelante en el curso, ¿verdad? Ustedes van a ir, cada módulo va a ir agregando algo más, algo más. Ahorita estamos could and can. May es parte de estos verbos modales. Para, para hablar muy respetuosamente, pero no lo vamos a utilizar ahorita. Podríamos usarlo en vez de decir, how can I help you? Podríamos decir, how may I help you? Pero how may I help you? Sí. Es como mucho más formal todavía, ¿ok? ¿Correcto, Giovanni? How may I help you? Ok. How can I help you? Uh -huh. All right. Okay, we are going to go. Okay. I'm going to disactivate your audio. I'm sorry, Nancy. Okay, there you are. We are going to see some examples that we were uh, reading yesterday. Uh, I'm sorry, the day before yesterday. And just let me go there, please, and share this slide for you. A ver, este es vocabulario y es muy importante, así como están, ustedes las pueden usar tal como están, sin andarles cambiando nada, ¿ok? Esto es lo común que utilizamos, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? And here we are. Estas que están acá, ¿quién? Que miran aquí arriba, son para poder comunicarme con un, permítanme un segundo, para comunicarme con al, alguien cercano, ¿ok? Alguien con quien tengo más confianza, ¿ok? We could say, can we talk later? Can we talk later? Can we talk later? Okay. Ahora, esta otra pregunta que ven acá, can I speak to the supervisor? Can I speak to the supervisor? Utilizamos can porque es más directo. Okay. Es como prácticamente pidiéndole una orden a la que no se pueden negar la persona que me está atendiendo. Normalmente eso en servicio al cliente eh, es como una orden de decirle, miren, no quiero tratar con usted, por favor, llámeme a su supervisor. Ok. Entonces, por eso lo usamos con can. Si decimos, could I speak to the supervisor? Estamos dando una posibilidad a que me diga que no. ¿Ok? 
Por eso le estamos diciendo, can I speak to the supervisor, please? Okay, no option. You have to call your supervisor because I'm angry. Okay, something like that, something like that. Okay, now let's see this one. Can you send a confirmation email to my personal, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, to my personal account too? Quiere decir que está enviando a dos cuentas, ¿verdad? A la cuenta de la compañía y a, quiere que me manden una copia a mi cuenta personal, ¿verdad? Can you send a confirmation email to my personal account too? Okay. Can they bring the complaint form to sign it? Can they bring the complaint form, form to sign it? Okay. Could you give me your email address, please? Could you give me your email address, please? Esta es una conversación muy polite que comienza desde todo esto. Could, using could, by phone, by phone, okay? ¿Hay alguna pregunta acerca de estas oraciones que vimos eh, al final de la clase pasada y que estamos viendo hasta ahorita? Do you have a question about this? No, teacher. No, opinions? Ok, quiero que quede claro porque ahorita ustedes van a trabajar en algo. Y este es un vocabulario que ustedes van a utilizar. Ok. What are we going to do now? We're going to create a conversation just as the one we have in our manuals. Ok, así como este que tenemos en el manual. Uh, yo creo que ahí ya no miran el manual. Ok. Así como la que acabamos de leer en el manual. What do we have to include in our conversation? ¿Qué vamos a incluir en esa conversación? Vamos a incluir un problema. Ok. Un problema. Tenemos que definir el problema. Y buscar una solución. Ok. Vamos a buscar una solución. Luego de buscar la solución. Digamos que usted ya tiene planeado, ¿verdad? Este va a ser el problema del que vamos a hablar y esta vamos a ser las soluciones que vamos a dar en nuestra conversación. ¿Ok? Empezamos. I want, I like to report a problem. ¿Ok? I'd like to report a problem. Y toda la conversación, tal como está ahí. How can I help you? My name is fulano de tal, from tal y tal y tal. ¿Ok? Just the one that, I, that you have there. Ahora. Incluyan preguntas para re, recabar información. ¿Cómo? Utilizando could y utilizando can. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Por ejemplo, could you give me your phone number? Uh, could you please uh, give me your email address? ¿Ok? That's asking for information or requesting for information. Now, antes de que vayamos para allá, porque vamos a hacer el breakout rooms. Vamos a hacer dos cosas. Ya me acordé de la attendance. Ya me acordé. ¡Eh! ¡Me acordé! Oh, ok. A ver. <risa> Pero quiero que veamos la forma negativa. Ok. La forma negativa es bien sencilla. Para can y could. Ahora. Quiero que vayamos acá. Okay, here we have can for informal polite requests. Tenemos que tener en cuenta que según la gramática, can and it could no cambian. For any pronoun, for any subject, you use can, you use could. Okay, now, what if, what if my answer, my answer, or my question is negative, okay? Can, the negative for can is cannot, okay? What is the contraction? Can't, okay? Can't. Ahora, ¿cuál es el negativo de could? Could not. Cold. Exactly. Pero como no pronunciamos la letra L, we don't pronounce that letter L, we say couldn't, couldn't, mm -hmm. couldn't. 
¿ok? Esta es la manera negativa, ¿ok? La manera negativa. For example, ¿ok? For example, if I say this one, uh, let me select this. Es como confirmando información, right? Confirm, eh, normalmente el negativo en estos casos es para confirmar información. Entonces, can't she, okay? Can't she forward the emails to all the employees? Okay. No estamos hablando de, post, de habilidad, estamos hablando de eh, pidiéndole un, un request. Así como nosotros que a veces decimos, Mire, y no podría hacer tal cosa, ¿ok? Y no podría tal otra, ¿ok? Cuando llega a la tienda uno, ¿verdad? Y no cree que me puede vender tal cosa, ¿ok? Llegamos bien amables, ¿verdad? Porque llegamos bien amables a la tienda. Mire, no cree que me puede vender un churrito, ¿right? Something like that, something like that is can't you, can't you, can't she, ¿ok? Very informal, but polite at the same time, ¿ok? Now, bueno, ahora que ya saben la negativa, las dos sencillas negativas, vamos a ir a hacer esa conversación. Así que los voy a dividir en los grupos. I'm going to split this room into the breakout rooms. And, ¿les queda claro lo que van a hacer? Yes, teacher. Ok. It's a conversation. Tal y como la que tienen ahí, solo que van a sustituir, van a buscar un problema de ustedes propios y una solución haciendo preguntas. Ok, there you are. Y después que terminamos, solo vamos a utilizar unos 10 minutos, ¿verdad? Yeah. Después que terminamos, yeah. lo vamos a presentar yeah. aquí en la clase. Ok, yeah. déjenme tomar la asistencia entonces. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Present chair. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present. Present teacher. Hello, Ana Cristina. Hello, Ana. We're missing you. Hello. Okay, here we are. Let's see one and one. Mm -hmm. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present teacher. María Elena de Gal, eh, Romero de Galvez. Present. Nancy Beto Bar Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present teacher. Ra Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Ok. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Ok. Les solicito por favor que ahorita que van a trabajar juntos, eh, por amor y respeto a nuestro compañerito con quien vamos a trabajar, ustedes enciendan su, su camarita, ¿verdad? Y procuren, por favor, que alrededor el ruido sea menor, ¿verdad? Para que puedan trabajar bonito. There we are. No lo mencioné. No lo mencioné. ¿A quién? ¿A quién? ¿A Kevin? Yes. Let me check, Kevin. Let's see. Kevin, Kevin, where are you? Ah, but I, okay. I checked you in already. Okay, thank you very much for telling me. Now let's see. There you are.
Good. Good evening. Good evening. This is. Good evening. This is Giovanni from the super. Okay. How can I help you? Ese ese trabaja en el soporte. Sí, porque vamos a reportar un problema. Would you like to report? Ah, ok, ok. Esa clase no la tengo anotada. I would like... I can't help you. Sí, la verdad. What, what uh -huh. would How you like to report? You? How can I help you? I can. How this is, can I help you? How can I help you? I help you. I help you. Yes. Oh, Algo no está mandando. Voy a ver. Ah, ok. Ahí lo mando. El de Max y yo, eh, vamos a, al ejemplo de Max y yo. Mm. Hello, hello, this is Annie. Hello, this is Annie. From John. Ay, vamos a usar ya ves el Ken o el Ku dijo. For polite requests. Vaya. Eh, ¿Quién va a ser Max? ¿Quién va a ser Joy? ¿Qué página es? La 40, 40, 44, creo que. La 44. No, it's 47. Seven. Yes. Oh, okay. 47. Okay. No. 47 yo. Pero ya lo envió. Yes, there you have it in the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Vaya. Hello, this is Annie from, from the support. From the support. How can I help you? Can you... Uh -huh. How can I help you? Hi, Annie. My name is Giovanni. I... What is Pips, teacher? El nombre de la compañía. Pips. Pips.com. Pips.com. Mm. Como pollito, ¿eh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Pigs that come. Hi, Annie. My name is... I work... I work en su compañía. Ahí tiene que poner I work for... En mi caso sería... My... 
Mm. I work for inversiones. Inversiones alport.com. Com. Bueno, yo voy a hacer Max. Uh -huh. mm, okay. Al revés. Bye. <ríe> Bye. Ok. Serio. Bueno, lo voy a escribir. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello, this, this is Giovanni from Tech Super. How can I help you? It's, Hi, uh, ya terminó. Sí. Hi, Giovanni. Hi, Giovanni. My name is Annie. I work for Ports Inversiones Alport.com. Con. We received the new printer. And I need her sitting it out. Sit it, sit it out. Oh, would you help me, please? No problem, any. Mm. Vaya, ahora el problema que tienen que buscar es uno propio. Ahí él está diciendo que, está, que necesita ayuda con, eh, que está configurando, ¿verdad? Su, su, impresora. su, su impresora. Ahora, ¿cuál es el problema que ustedes han escogido reportar y cuál es la solución que ustedes tienen para... Ah, ok, la nuestra, ok. Mm -hmm. Um, quiero ver. Eso. Eh, es tu, es tu, es tu un printer porque es del impresor ¿no? es tu yes. printer stock paper Stack paper, paper, paper. Uh -huh, stack paper, it could be good. Uh, también, uh -huh, that you can't print anything, okay? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. I can't print anything. No puedo mm -hmm. imprimir nada, okay? Then you say, uh, is there... Stop printer. I can't stack paper nothing. Stack, stack. Stack paper nothing or nada, nothing. No, 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 no. There is, there is stack paper. There uh, is there is the stock paper. Yes, stock paper on the printer, right? Oh, oh, oh on, the, on the printer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Eh, y vamos a buscar la solución, vea. Vamos a ver. Oh, no problem. Oh, you tell me. Ah, dígame el modelo. Ay. Eh, y oh, Tochiba, vamos a poner un modelo. <risa> Inventemos un modelo. Porque let me, let me check. Déjame verificar. Ese es el problema. What is hold, teacher? Oh, excuse me. Hold. Eh, hold, hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold on hold significa on. me on. puede esperar. Hágame un tiempo de espera en, la, en el teléfono, ¿verdad? Can you hold ah, on, please? Okay. No me cuelgue, pues, sino que hold on. Espéreme. Ajá, sí, espéreme. Okay. Quiere decir, es cierto. Ya lo vi en los teléfonos. Ese. Okay. En inglés. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Como hold la on. llamada en espera, ¿verdad? Yeah. ¿eh? Uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. okay. Okay, guys, you are doing a good job, so I'm going to another group at this moment, okay? Okay, gracias. Thank okay. you, thank you, teacher. Okay. Vaya, entonces vamos a... <risa> no habíamos salido todavía, ¿verdad, Ticha? Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. 
No nos había llamado todavía, ¿verdad? No, no, yet. Are you ready? Ya hicieron su conversación. Hello, teacher. Hello, Astrid. Eh, soy Astrid, teacher. Eh, tengo problemas con el Inter y me sacó dos veces y estaba con Wendy. Ah, ¿y la, la paso para allá? Sí, sí. Ok, ok, ok. Sí, así veo. Y, um, a ver, a ver, a ver. A ver. No está ni Wendy ahorita. ¿En qué sala estaba? En la tres. Es que no sé por qué me sacó el Zoom. Ya van dos veces que me va sacando. Yo creo que es ahorita la internet como está. Probemos. Ok. Ahí está. ¿Pudo, Astrid? No, no, no me sale nada. No me sale para ingresar a la sala 3. A Wendy me traje para acá. Quizás. Wendy, Wendy apareció. Así. <ríe> oh, my God. Hey, what happened, guys? Wendy, me, saqué este, me, me, me cambió, teacher. Se finalizaron Salí, todas, se finalizaron Wendy, todas sí. y no presioné finalizar, sino que estaba enviando a Astrid a la sala y ahí hubo un como clac y se cayó y volvió así. ¿Qué habrá pasado? We don't know. Ok, let's call, IT. Yeah, let's, call, no. let's call IT support. Yes. <laughs> Let's report this problem. Bueno, pero a este momento ya pasaron internet. Minutes. Yeah, we have no internet access. Oh, oh, oh. I know. Teacher, no hemos terminado. Mm. <laughs> I'm Apenas. sorry. Hello. Hello. Teacher. No way, it's not possible. Terminate. Only 10 minutes. Only 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nancy, we're in bed in the last. <laughs> in the last the <laughs> okay, bueno, de ahorita depende su nota final. Ah, <laughs> got you guys. <laughs> okay, no, no, okay. Hey, pongamos. Ya no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 Ok, es que saben qué sucede, que no hay que complicarse, ok, esto es una conversación normal, eh, com común dentro del trabajo y no hay que pensarla mucho, ok, ¿qué es lo que teníamos que hacer? Usar el vocabulario que ya teníamos, como eh, re requesting information using could and using can, reporting a problem, defining the problem and also asking questions to get a solution, to get a solution. In this case, we could use the complaint form. If you could use that, it could be a very good um, option. So now let's see, let's see, let's see. Who wants to volunteer? Who wants uh, to volunteer? Nancy and me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, Nancy, 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 okay, Maria, Nancy. Maria. Okay. Hey, everybody, help me. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. Well. Hello. Hello. Oh. No, I, I saw Nancy. Okay. Hello. This is Maria from Tech Support. How can I help you? Um, hi, Maria. Uh, my name is Nancy. I work from Acofran. We receive the new printer and I need and I need help because the paper stopped in printer. Could, could you help me please? No problem Nancy. Could you tell me the model? <laughs> Let me check. Can you hold on a second please? Um, it is a uh, Epson. Maria. <laughs> I was to L to to L two hundred ten. 
Okay, first remove the paper and reset. Okay, the wait, printer. Nancy, it is wait, my Nancy, line. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first remove no, the paper. Ahí, Maria, ahí, there, Maria, uh -huh. you, you've got to you, you've got to tell her. Hold on, hold on. Okay? Hold on, <laughs> hold on. Okay. Hold on. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, first remove the paper and then reset the printer. All right, it is it's done working. Can I help you again? Yes, I yes. <laughs> sure. Can okay. you call me? Uh, is don't work me? Can you call me? <laughs> okay. And the phone is uh, oh. two hundred sixteen. I don't know. Okay, okay. there you are. It's a so pleasure. <laughs> Attend, Nancy. Thank you. <laughs> okay, could you please, did you see, could you please call me if uh, it doesn't work? Okay, could you please yeah. me, please call me? Could you please call me? So we use the same structure. Okay, now let's see Edwin and Carlos, right? Uh, who, ustedes dos están trabajando juntos, right? No. Edwin? Solo el saludo decimos, teacher. Nah. Uh, 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 uh. There you are. That, that's the attitude. Go, go. Go, team, go. Go, team, go. There you are. Okay. Yo empiezo, yo empiezo, yo empiezo. Hello, this is Selwyn. Uh, Ah, hello, this is Edwin, front edge chauffeur. How can I help you? Hi, Edwin. My name is Carla. I work in Inversion de Luz de Maria. I have a problem with the transference bank. Oh, okay. Uh, can you give my your full name? Um, with a bank transfer. With a bank transfer. Yes, bank, okay. ah, bank transfer. Bank transfer. Mm -hmm. Full name. Nay, 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 nay. My name is my name is Carla Lopez. Your full okay. name. Full. My full Todo. name. Full. Full. Todo el nombre completo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My name is Carla Veronica Lopez. Okay, can you give my me your account number? Hello. Can you give me your account number? Number. Number de cuenta. Yes. But no Spanish, no Spanish, Carlita. I, I, I don't speak. I don't speak English. My uh, account uh, account <laughs> is <laughs> one one two. 34, 11, 23. Okay. And an email address? Could my you please email. give me? Could you please my, give me? Can you please? Can you please give me? My give email me. address is carla.suria at, at com. Okay. At gmail.com. That. At gmail.com. Okay. Okay. We will solve you as soon as possible. <laughs> we will what? Uh, we will, we will, okay, we will, we will solve your as soon as possible. Uh, es como que le, va, le vamos a solventar lo más pronto posible, no sé, algo así. We would, would, puede we, utilizar oh. lo que hemos aprendido, would, we would we, solve. We will, uh, ¿cómo sería entonces? We would solve as we soon as possible. Uh, as, as soon as, as possible. We will as soon as possible. Okay, very good. We would solve as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, Thanks. Okay. Uh, the transfer is very important for client. Okay, okay. 
Okay, so finish, finish. Okay, <laughs> clap everyone. They did it good. They did it good. Okay, there you are. So lo único que no le ayudaron a resolver qué le pasó al ATM, ¿verdad? <laughs> es que por okay. correo, por correo le va a llegar. Ah, por correo. <laughs> okay, by email, by email. Okay, by, let's by see. Email. Astrid and Wendy. Eh, les costó, ¿verdad? No pudieron trabajar mucho. Las sacó sí, el pero, sistema como pero, veces. Pero no sé, yo voy a decir la idea. Yo lo hice solita en okay. mi idea. Ok. And Wendy, just, uh -huh, ok, continue there. Ok, there you are. Try. Um, hello, this is Wendy. Eso es lo que tenía que decir ella, ¿verdad? From the support hotel. Ok, va, entonces comencemos, comencemos eh, con lo que usted diría, o sea, cambiemos el papel. Ah, o Wendy inicia. O, el problem o Wendy inicia. solution. O, o, o Wendy inicia. El, el... Ajá. Entonces inicio yo. Ok, go ahead, Wendy. Mm -hmm. Hello, ah. this is Wendy from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi. Hi, Wendy. My name is Astrid. Um, my computer does, doesn't reconnect USB deal. Could you help me, please? Entonces, ella tendría que decir la solución. Uh, um, no problem. Uh, no, check, po no problem, Astrid. No problem. Could you, Could you check, check the, the USB model? port? Como ok, could you check the model? Los, she says. Ajá, uh -huh. could you tell uh -huh. me the model? Ah, Hasta ok. Could you please help me the model? Ok, very good. Continue uh -huh. there. Uh, Continúen desde ahí. And let's improvise. Ok. Uh, um, could you, tell, could ahí... you please tell me the model? Say, Wendy. Wendy. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ella me tendría que decir el modelo de, de, su compu de su computadora. Ok, ask the question. Ask the question. Could you tell me the model? Um, my computer model is Lenovo. X150. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Ah, pero... Right. Okay, then Para check, the, la check the power All cord. Right. Uh -huh. Check the power cord or something like that. Okay, it's the... Um, lo mismo que dice aquí. No, you, you have to give a solution. Si, si no le funciona el puerto de la USB, ¿qué le, qué le diría que hiciera o qué hiciera usted? What is the solution for you? ¿Qué probaría hacer? Reinicie la computadora. Ok, then tell, tell her, tell her. Uh, you ah, can tell her. Could you please reset your computer? Could you please reset your computer? Um, para responder sería, sure. Sure. Could you please hold on a second while it is resetting? Uh-huh, okay. Mm -hmm. And source, thank you. Okay. This is, uh -huh. Y para terminar, o sea, para digamos que me solucione el problema. Okay, solution. no Spanish, no Spanish. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> Ay, la respuesta sería... No, you just, just tell her, just tell her. Solo dígale a ella lo que le va a decir, ok, para terminar. No uh -huh. Spanish. Oh. Okay, thanks. It worked. It worked. Yeah, it's okay. My computer is okay. Yeah, you did it, Wendy. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> If you were just like me. Si usted así de emotiva como yo, así le va a decir gracias, gracias. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, very good. Clap, guys. Clap. Now let's see Karina. I want to hear Karina with your classmate. We are not finished. 
Mm -hmm. Don't worry, you may start and then you are adding your ideas, okay? Okay. Carlos, um, empieza. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Hello, this is Carlos from the Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Carlos. My name is Karina. I work for Travers.com. We have problems with the internet. We don't have internet access. Could you help me, please? Okay, no problem. Karina, could you tell me the model? Okay, I'm going to check. Can you give me a moment, please? Um, it is an Aris DG2482. Okay. Please make sure that all light is turned on. Mm, let me check. Um, uh, it is turned on. Uh, could you tell me what, what else I can do? Okay. Second, discard the router, please. And third, try again the internet connection. Okay, I do it. I think okay. it's okay. Thank you. Okay. It connected. Yay, you <laughs> did it, Carlos. You solved the problem. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Very good, Karina. You did a great job. A great job. So Thank now, you. Omar, let's see Omar and your classmate. Omar. So, teacher, I, I, I didn't do anything, but. Uh, uh, my, my classmate is Ana Cristina. Uh, okay, let's start the conversation. <laughs> let's start a conversation. Okay, Ana Cristina, you start. Okay, pero ahí le vamos a aumentando las ideas y todos les podemos ayudar, okay? Everybody's here to help. Hello, this is I, uh, this is Ana Cristina from the support. How can I help you? Hi, Ana Cristina. Uh, my name is Omar. Uh, I, um, I, will, I, I would like to uh, report a problem uh, with my cell phone. Could, could you help me, please? What your problem? Um, I, I don't know, but, but uh, um, the line is is die. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't get it, Omar. Wh what do you say? Okay, the, the line is dead. Um, I don't know what to do. The line is dead. Oh, the line is dead. Okay, line is dead, Ana Cristina. It means that he can't make any call. He can't make any call. What is the model? What is the model? Hey, everybody, hey, hey. Help, help, help. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> could, could you please tell me? Power telephone. Are you, are you... <laughs> okay, Ana Cristina, you... Ana Cristina, pregúntele así. What, uh, could you please tell me what is the model? Could, could you please? Could you please tell me what is the model? Tell me what is the model. The model, okay. uh -huh. el modelo, the model. The model. Okay, let me check. Um, um, can you please uh, give me a, a one minute? Um, uh, the model is um, Samsung uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. Puedo decirle intentó intentó Ajá. apagarlo no sé the power 
no, dele la orden, dele la orden. Can you turn it on? Can you turn it off? Okay. El, el, can you, can you? I, can you, can you? Uh -huh. Can you? Turn on. it on. Power? No, no, turn, solo turn on. And then the power it. sería turn on. Encender, right? Turn on. Turn on. Ajá. Omar, can you? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it. Uh, oh, este. It's. Uh, it's already working. Thank you. Okay. Good, Cristina. You solved the problem. Yay! <laughs> Very good. You could also Teacher. say, "Can you reset it? Can you reset it?" Okay, teacher, para decirle uh, cómo uh, reiniciarlo, right? Mm -hmm. Teacher, if um, reiniciar, uh, que uh, I can say uh, uh, restart it. Yeah, restart. Very good. Yes, it's a very good word. Mm -hmm. Restart. Okay. Mm -hmm. thank, okay yes, thank, you can use you, that teacher. word. Okay. Lo único okay. que con los, thank los you, teacher. okay, okay. Normalmente con los devices, uh, technology, uh, technology language is reset. Okay, reset. Así aparece en todo, ¿verdad? en todos los aparatos. Reset, porque se vuelve como a programar, a encender, ¿verdad? O a poner todo en, en línea. Se apaga y se vuelve a encender el solito. Okay, but else you can say, you can say restart. Okay, now let's see. Do we want to hear Juan Carlos? Yes, we want to hear Juan Carlos. <laughs> okay, Juan Carlos. Eh, teacher, tuve problemas con energía y no. Oh no my God. No trabajé. Okay, pero cree que Nadie. lo puede improvisar. Eh, Siguiendo la lectura. Intentaré. Okay, Juan Carlos uh, and your classmate. Uh, who was your classmate? Kevin, I think, right? Kevin? No? ¿Con quién trabajó Juan Carlos? I don't remember now. Eh, no, 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 no. Antes de que iniciaran los grupos. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, let's see. Karina, do you want to help him? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Um, we we'll start. Uh, hello. This is Juan Carlos. Uh, can I can I can I help you? How can Please? I help you? How can I help you? Um hi. Es, es, uh, wait, 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 Karina. Eh, Juan Carlos tiene a la mano la, la eh, que envía al grupo de WhatsApp o tiene yes. a la mano su, su manual. El que envió al grupo de WhatsApp. Ok, entonces ahí en, en ese usted va, vaya leyendo cada, cada parte del diálogo para que pueda irla adaptando. Ajá. Ok, okay. there you are. Let's start again. Hello. This is Juan Carlos from the Tech Support. I, I, have, I have, I'll help you. How can I help you? How can um, I help you? Hi, Carlos. My name is Karina. I work for Travers.com. I have some problems with the energy. We don't have energy right now. Could you help me, please? Uh, no problem, uh, Karina. For, uh, what's, what's the problem? Um, I don't have energy from, I don't know. From 11 a.m., I think. We have no power here, okay? 
I can Hold change your... the problem if you want. <laughs> okay, bye. ¿Qué, qué pasaría, Baby. everybody, en Juan Carlos? Let's think. Cuando ustedes llaman a la compañía de electricidad, ¿qué preguntas le van a hacer primero? Si, si pagamos ya el si recibo. Pa <laughs> <laughs> ok. Yes. Ajá, but first of all, uh, what's what's number, your... what, what's number, uh, uh, N I C. Oh, okay. Yeah, from from the bill, uh -huh, de la factura, right? Um, uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. But okay, okay. Let's let's do this step by step. The first thing that you do is okay, let me help you with this, but could you please tell me your full name? And then you write mm. her full name. And then uh could you please give me the address where you are calling from? Could you please give me the address? Okay, para saber de dónde me está llamando y la dirección. Okay. Um, okay, she gives me the address. Sí, las cosas que nos preguntarían normalmente en esa compañía. Okay. okay. There you go. There you go. Continue, continue. Only two more questions, Juan Carlos, and then we finish. Uh -huh. eh, could you. Eh, Address. Um, my address is Colonia Flor Blanca, um, 49 <laughs> Avenida Norte, <Okay>. 45, <laughs> 45 Avenue North. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. 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 And Third Street. And Third Street. Okay. And third There street. you are. And moments. Uh, Enviaremos, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, we'll send, pero como estamos utilizando would, puede utilizar would. Podemos decir, we would send, para decirlo we, polite. We could send uh, an uh, equip, equipment uh, uh, repair the fires. Very good, Juan Carlos. We would send, we could say a technician, okay? A technician, un técnico, right? Or um, if you say equipment, in this case, equipment are the tools. Equipments are the things that you use. Podríamos decir a team of technicians, okay? Nuestro equipo de técnicos, a team of technicians. Pero qué buenísima idea, chico. Okay, very good idea, Juan Carlos. Okay, teacher. Okay, then, Karina, wait for the technicians, okay? There you are. Kevin, 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 where were you? Where are you, Kevin? <gasps> Kevin. Hello, teacher. Okay, we want to hear you. Um, Alejandra. Aha, Alejandra. There you Hello, are. Hello, teacher. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Um, um, hello, this is Kevin. Uh, how can I help you? Hello, hello, Ke hello, Kevin. Um, please. Uh, describe the problem? Uh, no, um, in this case, you have to say the problem, Alejandra, because he is from oh, tech support. Okay. Uh -huh. So you've no, got to okay. say... Um, yo digo, yo digo mi problema. Okay. Yes, I would like to report a problem, right? Or something like that. Okay. Um... um my my TV in uh let me see. okay mm. tiene a la mano el diálogo quiero ver quiero ver 
ahí está el diálogo para que siga la, la otra parte y la adapte. Mm. Es el, el último diálogo, el, el, el... sí, ¿verdad? Exactly. Uh -huh. Ok, eh, veamos. My name is eh, Alejandra. Eh, 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 and I would um, like to report a problem or I, well, I would like to report an issue or I, I have like, a problem. I have a problem in my, my com computer uh, and no internet. Um, my computer has no internet access has no internet access okay okay kevin um no problem uh can can you con configure can you uh -huh. Configurations uh, the internet in the computer. Uh, si ha ingresado a la configuración de internet en la computadora. Oh my God, that's very long. Okay, but in that case, imaginemos, imaginémonos y vámonos a lo más obvio, ok, vámonos a lo más obvio primero, porque ahorita todavía Press estamos it. definiendo, no, la the first thing that I would think is, uh, did you check is the modem is on, ok, is the modem on, verdad, Me la mando a que vaya a ver si el modem está encendido, right, that would okay. be the first thing, is that okay. correct, something okay. obvious, mm -hmm. Um, Así como yo le dije, Kevin. Let, let me check. No, no, no. No. Please check. Please, Entonces, please check. ajá, pero please como check. usted va a decir una, una orden o le va a hacer una request, lo vamos a decir lo más polite posible, ¿verdad? Porque aunque sea una, más si es una cosa obvia, la gente lo va a sentir pesado. Ve como que no sé que yo ya lo olvide. Aquí, aquí lo estoy. Sí, entonces tenemos que usar un lenguaje muy formal y mucho tacto. Entonces decimos, could you please check if the modem is on? Could you please eh, model? Modem. Modem. Check. Is on? It's on. Uh -huh. so it's on. Okay, Alejandra. Um, my my modem uh, is on. Okay. Um, um, please help. Could you please help me? Could you please help me? Um, okay, Kevin. Repeat. Vaya, vamos a hacer una cosa. Todos ayudemos, chicos. Everybody helping here, okay? Ajá. Uh -huh. Let's see. Alejandra said that she checked and the modem is on. What continues? What continues? Oh. Um. Uh, could you... Could you... Can reset mode? Mode. Okay. Could you please or could you reset? Could you please reset? Uh huh. Mm. Uh, can mode? Okay. Ahí no decimos can, solo the modem, verdad? Porque no. ya utilizamos could. Podemos usar uno de los dos, could or can. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Alejandra. Um, go and reset it and you have to say hold on a second okay hold. okay okay Pero I... para decirlo eso tiene que decirlo de un lenguaje bien polite ahí en la conversación lo tiene 
Uh -huh. Can you hold on? Can you we can you we check my my modem? My modem. Ok, ahorita lo que le estamos pidiendo a Kevin, Alejandra, es que se espere un, momen, un momento mientras ah. usted va y chequea, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, ahí en la conversación hay una frase que puede usar. En... Un momento, por favor. Uh, sí, pero en la conversación, ¿cómo dice? Can you... Hold on. Hold on a second, please. Ok, so that's the phrase. That's the phrase. Okay. So, dígale así a Kevin. Ok. Um, can you can, can you hold a, on a second, please? Oh, oh, it's uh, I reset it. I reset it, right? Can you read our reset? Okay, it's already reset, Kevin. So now, what do you think, guys? What do you think, Astrid? What do you think, Wendy? Call disconnect and uh -huh. connect again. Okay, Alejandra. Okay, say can, Alejandra. Can you hold on a second, please? Okay. Uh, um, um, ¿Cómo fue que dijo this? this? Uh -huh. It's okay. Ale It's okay. You gotta say. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Can you hold on a second, please? And then you say, it's okay. Okay, it's okay. Ya it's está okay. bien, ya lo hice, ¿verdad? It's okay. Uh -huh. Kevin? Okay. Um, Can you check if you have internet access now? Ah. Can, you, <laughs> can you check? Uh, uh -huh. Is internet access? Um, uh, yes, I. Yay! Yes, yes, yes. Good, Kevin. <laughs> everyone, we did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, this is how to report a problem and how to give solutions. ¿Qué es lo que nos falta un poquito? Ah, un poquito de no pensar mucho. Que okay? pongámoslo en el plano de que lo hacemos normalmente. ¿Se han fijado que todo esto lo hacemos normalmente? Llama a la compañía a vos, right? And we call the company and they help us. But we have to give this, the problem and, and say clearly what the problem is to understand also the instructions and follow the instructions. We use um, polite requests, okay? Okay. Now let's see, it's almost 10, right? Let me check. Yeah, we have only five minutes. And just let me go. And I will send at this moment. Just give me one second. Les voy a enviar un link. I will send an e a, a link for you to practice can, okay? You are going to practice can as a model verb. Okay, through this chat. It's very short, so you please do. There you are. It's a listening, um, listening exercise, and it's very short. I will send it through WhatsApp too. Could you access? Could you access to the exercise? Yes. Okay. For those who are on the phone, there you have it.
Okay, could you, could you finish? Could you do it? Okay, I want to see uh, number six, number six. How can I help you? Very good, very good. Now, the number 10. No can do. Okay, that is an expression that is, um, a very common expression uh, that means that it's not possible uh, that, okay, you are sorry, but you are not going to do something, okay? Because it's not possible to do something. So that means that expression. Así que cuando oigan no can do, así como, hey, ese no puede hablar, ¿verdad? No, it's an expression, okay? It's an expression. Ok, guys, you may, lo pueden seguir escuchando y, y resolviendo. You can continue uh, listening to it and you can listen, listen to it again over and over until you get the complete meaning of the other sentences. If you have some questions, then in the next class you can ask me about those questions. Uh, questions that you have. So today's turn is for uh, Maria Elena. Okay. Maria okay. Elena, it's your turn today. Are you staying with me? Yes, teacher. Okay, there you are. So everybody, thank you very much for uh, being here today. And remember, please, por favor, hagan todos los arreglos necesarios para que el último día de clase estemos todos presentes, que no me falte nadie, porque por no presentar esa encuesta pueden quedarse reprobados, ¿ok? Pueden quedarse reprobados, entonces necesito que por favor, porque no hay forma de solucionarlo, si no lo hizo, lastimosamente no lo hizo, ¿ok? Así que por favor, hagamos todo el esfuerzo necesario para que estemos a tiempo a la hora de la encuesta. Okay, everybody, then have a good night and good see you Monday. Good night, good night teacher. teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Okay, here we are, Maria Elena. Yeah. Okay, do you have questions? Really? I don't have questions. I okay. only give you a thanks for everything. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, thank you. I appreciate that comment. I really appreciate that feedback. Okay. Uh, I think I, I really understand <laughs> But everything clear. Okay. Uh, I like your class. Okay. I, I like <laughs> you to like it. I like you to like it. Uh, do you want to practice anything at this moment? Quisiera uh, practicar algo que, que le haga, le cuesta ahorita? Algo que le haya costado más? Quisiera practicarlo? Uh, I forget uh, the. I forgot the in the third person. The third person. The, and bears this. But in, in second, I remember. Oh, the, okay. I have okay. a I, I think I have a little problem with that. With that. Okay, but yeah. now you detect it. If you detect the problem, it's easier to, to correct it. Yeah. Because sometimes you don't feel that you are uh, mistaken. Okay, you, you don't feel, but uh, 
if you detect it, it's, uh, it's easier. If you detect it now that you are having that problem, it's easier. For example, what you can do about that, what can you do about that is this. Todo lo que hablen o lo que usted hable acerca de alguien más from your uh, son, daughter, from your dad, for example, or referring to your husband, to your colleague or whatever, think, think in English, okay? Think in English, that thing that you were gonna say in Spanish, okay? okay. For example, today you told me, uh, today is my dad's birthday, right? That's what you said yeah. in the, in, at the beginning of the class. So yeah. if you think every time in English, those things that you are going to say, then you are going to go over. You are going to go <laughs> over that problem. Oh. Uh-huh. And also, you know what? Watch movies. Watch movies. Yeah. yeah. I watch yeah. the movies and I like to listen to music and and learn the, the, the letter of the means, the, the songs. lyrics. Lyrics. Yeah, the okay. lyrics. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you memorize them, memorize yeah. the lyrics. Oh, good, good. <laughs> I don't have that, uh, uh, that gift. Porque ese es un don realmente de recordar. I love to sing. I really love to sing. But I, I always remember only the... Eh, el estribillo, okay, the, the chorus. El la, coro. Uh, yeah, only <laughs> that. <laughs> the repetition, only. <laughs> yeah, and when I start, but I know the song. Do, do you see? I, say, I know the song, but some things, uh, I'm like that. It's not because I, I can't English, it, I can't speak English. Uh, it is because I don't remember. I don't no. memorize the lyrics. <laughs> uh, I have that problem but if you have that gift oh my god that's good that is good mm -hmm. and what about you're a teacher right yeah I am okay. a teacher okay and, and what grade do you teach um <laughs> everything <laughs> every every grade okay, okay. yeah because um I'm a secretary but I am a teacher too Oh, okay. And when the teacher is missing, I go to give you substitute. Class. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you That's have fun. to be prepared for any subject. Yeah. Para cualquier materia. Oh, yeah. and your and the school where you work is bilingual. Yes. Oh, okay. So you need English to speak yeah. with your <laughs> class. I'm sorry to your students. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, and um, well, in this classes, do you have uh, small groups or big groups? Right now, we have a a, a small group. Okay, okay, yeah, because the uh, the change, the, yeah, the change. Okay, and the others is in in online. Okay, so mm -hmm. you are going physically to the to the yeah. school. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you have to go and come. Uh, I thought it was only online. Yeah. Okay. So yes. next year is going to be presential or it's going to be online? Mm, I hope so. Presential. If you think it's easier? <laughs> what yeah. do you think? Um, and what do you like the most? Uh, going to the physical school school or online i prefer physical oh, okay okay i uh -huh. think the the students is more active um learn more learn okay. i don't know <laughs> and yeah, it's because of the experience right it's because yeah. of the experience well i think it depends on the subject it depends on the subject. For example, with um, sociales, I think is uh, uh, it's a thing. Online. Yeah, it's better online. Yeah, yeah, it's it doesn't have any problem. But for example, no. science or, or maybe math. mathematics. Uh huh. Yeah. 
So yeah, I think it depends on the subject because languages, any language, I mean, Spanish or English or orthographia, right? Spelling, letters and sounds. Uh, it is okay if they are online. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. But there are some others uh, that you need the experience, right? To touch, yeah. to feel, for example, art. <laughs> How do you teach art? Yeah, so it's, it's kind of it's difficult. very difficult. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, the last weekend um, I had a, a um, how do you say tarjeta card? Okay, card uh, the uh, Happy Father's Day. Uh, okay, and online is with the the children of Parvularia. Uh huh. It's very difficult. <laughs> preschool, say I'm a parvularia. Preschool. Preschool. Uh -huh. Preschool. Yeah. Difficult okay. but fun. <laughs> okay. But you did it. You did it. I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, wow. Well, uh, I think it's a very hard thing. The change. I think the change coming from what we were before and then the golpe, right? Suddenly, yeah. pack. From, uh, eso sería al siguiente día ya estábamos on the computers. We were uh, on the computers. Yeah. The next day, we woke up <laughs> and we were on computers. Yeah, yeah, it was like that. It was like that. It was hard, not only for adults. Imagine for the kids. Yeah, Imagine because for I... The kids. Uh -huh. uh, to me, it was a little difficult. I think so, yeah. yeah. And were you ready? Were you ready for the change? Um, yeah. <laughs> now? Okay, okay yeah. now you feel uh, yeah. that you're more prepared, I mean, prepared. Yeah. Uh-huh, more uh, prepared. The last year? No, I'm not prepared. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Last year, it was a surprise and yeah. you have to improvise with everything. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Last year was so was bad. <laughs> bad and difficult, yes. Yes, it was. It's a, it was. Um, a hard year. Yes, and what about COVID? Imagine with the students that their parents were, um, stats but on estadística right stats yeah, mm -hmm. yeah many it's... many people die yeah mm -hmm. family members yes uh, the students and did you receive so the benefit sad. from the government yeah okay yeah okay so you you did you receive the the uh in this the case it was no, it was like trainings that they uh, were, uh, how can I say this? Uh, they implemented some trainings for uh, yeah. teachers. Yeah, okay. Google and Google Classroom. Classroom yeah, from Google the Classroom, Innovation yeah. Secretary. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Did you receive that? Yes, okay. I received that. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think it was uh, kind of good, right? What do you think about that? Um, well, when I more work with uh, preschool, uh -huh. and I like to work in video and WhatsApp okay. because it is more easy for the parents. For the Oh, okay. It's easier. It's easier. Easier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. because imagine having all that heavy application in their phones with all the applications of work and everything. So yeah, it was more difficult for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But do you use Classroom? No. No. Okay. You no. have your own platform. Yeah. Okay. Nice. We have that. A platform. Okay, so you hmm. have to use uh, an institutional account, and everyone has an institutional account. And do you yeah. have to record the videos and everything? 
Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Do you record videos? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, nice. Uh, my my son um helped me oh, okay. with um a puppet sometimes. Oh, with puppets. Good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. My daughter helps me with the audios here oh. for my classes with the audios and if i need some other kind of help yes she does for example presentations are things that she's uh 13 okay my daughter is 13 so she's in seventh grade and they have i mean they uh how can i say this mm. they are every every step forward right there they are a step forward from us they están como un paso adelante de nosotros ah, right? yeah. so they help us a lot i think this uh this kid for example the audios that you hear in this uh, level uh she she read the readings and she uh read the dialogues Ah, you know who else helped me? My husband. Oh. <laughs> yeah, does your husband help? Um, sometimes um, they they speak in English because they, he, he lives in New York oh, for okay. a long time. Oh, really? And, okay. Yeah, and sometimes we, we talk in English, we speak in English. Oh, very uh, good. And my son, um, last Saturday, I start English in Insta for oh, okay. presential. Ah, good, good. Yeah. So everybody's yeah. working in the same page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. It's a very good opportunity that you have to practice with them. Yes. yes. Okay. Maria Elena, do you have anything else that I can help you with? No, no, no teacher. Everything okay. Okay, then uh, I, it has been my pleasure. Okay, and then we are having this thing on Monday that we can't miss. Okay, okay? <laughs> we can't miss on Monday. Okay, okay then teacher. have a good weekend. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, bye okay. bye, Marielena. Bye, good night. Good night.